What's up, what's up mga kachimik? Sir Jello becomes a dear. <laughs> Char lang. What's up, what's up mga kachimik? Welcome sa panig- bagong kabanata ng ating chemistry session. So last time, no, if you've watched the video, we've learned how to write chemical formula involving uh, elements from groups 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7. We also tackled um, writing chemical formulas which involves transition metals. And as promised, for this week, we're going to talk about writing chemical formula containing polyatomic ions. No? And after this one, we are going to learn how to write chemical formula involving covalent compounds. And similarly, no, we are going to talk about writing chemical formula which involves acids. No? Or how to name acids and vice versa. This is our objective for today. No? We are just going to write chemical formula for ionic compounds involving polyatomic ions. So without further ado, let's get it on! Alright, alright! <laughs> Laging alright! Now, all will be alright in time. No? Kahit pagod na pagod na tayo, sana... Uh, magpatuloy ang ating pag-aaral no, ng chemistry in particular no, at kahit anong subject naman. So again, uh, before we proceed no, in naming chemical formula, why did I separate no, naming ionic compounds which involves polyatomic ion? Because no, there's a special case when we, we're tackling, no, when we talk about polyatomic ion. So first, what is a polyatomic ion? No, a polyatomic ion is an ion composed of more than one atom. Now we've been used to atoms, no, becoming or being ionized, no, and turning to cation and an ion. However, they are only uh, single elements, no, single atoms. Say for instance, your N+, plus, your Cl-, minus, your Mg2+, plus, or your O2-. Minus. However, there are cases that these atoms, no, these elements clump together and form the polyatomic ion. Uh, you might probably uh, uh, question, sir, bakit hindi sila naging compound? You know, uh, I thought uh, when there is two, more than two elements, two or more than elements involved, it becomes a compound. No, polyatomic ions are rare cases. No, uh, I sometimes call them the failed compounds. Why is that so? Now, what made them not a regular ion and also not a compound? No, th- these are actually something in between no? para nagka-identity crisis ang ating mga polyatomic ions they were once element no trying to form compounds however a compound requires a neutral charge and these polyatomic ions when co- when they are when they combine no when they go together they have an equal number of protons and electrons making them charge and making them us or requiring us to label them not a compound, but rather ions. And to distinguish them, we call them polyatomic ion. Now, from the prefix poly, meaning more than one or many. Polyatomic, many atom, an ion with many atoms. So, uh, what are the examples of compounds or particularly ionic compounds which involves polyatomic ion? Now, one of them is our sodium chlorate. Now again, for relevance purposes, so that you'll not just think that I'm just throwing random names to you, what is a sodium chlorate? So if you've seen uh, packages like this one, especially uh, when you're exploring in the farm no, or in the stock room of your parents, no, if you have one, it's an oxidizing agent. No? It's used for bleaching paper. Uh, pwede din siyang gamitin for explosive and matches and it has a particular role no as a herbicide so this is our sodium chlorate and what you what do you notice in our sodium chlorate no uh, we are familiar with our sodium however there is a problem here no sir bakit 8 na siya no? kasi babae siya no? ate <laughs> char uh, we've been used to having chloride, right? No, IDE, sodium chloride, no, as simple as NaCl, no, or Na plus Cl minus when they are ions. But how about, sir, if it's not 
any more IDE. So this is now the catch. If it's no longer an IDE, meaning it signals us that we are not talking about regular ions. No, we are talking about polyatomic ions. So what uh, what things do we need in order to identify the chemical formula of this ionic compound? So first, we still need a periodic table of elements. No, as simple as this one. This is to identify our ions, no, our regular ions, because there are cases that there is a regular ion and a polyatomic ion. Or sometimes, if it's both polyatomic ions, no, we, then we don't need the periodic table. But since we have sodium here, no, we still need to identify the valence electron of sodium by looking at its group number. No? I keep on reiterating this. Group 1 gives us a positive 1 charge, which we do, no, we do not write anymore. No? The numerical symbol for 1, we have 2 plus for group 2. So they both look like 1. So hopefully your auditory and your following. Yeah, and talented talaga. Artistic, parang kinder na nagsusulat. So this is 1. 1 plus, 2 plus, charges 3 plus for group 3. For group 5, 3 minus, group 6, 2 minus, and for group 7, that's F negative, or uh, rather negative or 1 negative. And again, this is just a review. Uh, in case you forgot already, no? sanay naman tayong makalimot. Ah, <laughs> since di ko na ma-edit, ako na lang magre-react. So, ayan. Uh, sodium is in group number 1. So, I can take note that my Na is positive. Now, for my a polyatomic ion, I have to look at a table. No, this is now uh, the differ uh, the the harder part. That eh, when we were still in our normal class, because uh, the students have no choice. Sometimes when we're generous during quizzes, we give uh, tables for polyatomic ions. No, but uh, if I can remember the first batch, we didn't give them polyatomic ions. This is the part that they have to memorize some common. And there's actually a technique. But for now, I would, I would not, I guess there's no use of teaching you when NO2 becomes a nitrite or a nitrate and sulfite becomes a sulfate. No, because you will be provided because this is an online class with this list. Yay! So, walang masyadong problema. What you have to do is just to simply take a look at the polyatomic ion involved in that compound. So we have chlorate. Chlorate. Sige, let me check. Chlorate. So this is already given. No? So this is a polyatomic ion for chlorate. No? A, a chlorine and an oxygen combined no? with a negative one charge. So anong gagawin ko dito, sir? Very simple. You just have to copy your chlorate. So that is ClO3 negative. So let me write it here. That's CLO3 negative. And my sodium is Na plus. Now after I do that, now what am I what is uh, what is my next step after doing such? We go back to the rule of writing the chemical formula for ions. Now they are all just the same. So we have positive, we have negative. And the value is both 1. No? Meaning, they are all equal in terms of their charges. So, we simply copy them to form our compound. No? Na. Now, how do we write this one? Again, we just copy it. C, L, O. And we copy the subscript. So, N, A, C, L, O, 3. This is now yeah, I, I have a bad handwriting. This is now my sodium chlorate. No, this is now my compound. No, which involves polyatomic ions. Get it now? All right. So let's try uh, another example. So next example is a calcium sulfite. Now again, we have ITE rather than IDE. So this tells me that uh, I have a polyatomic ion rather than a uh, normal ion, no? a normal an ion. So this is my cation, calcium, and I have sulfite as uh, my an, an ion. 
So for now, I want you to pause the video as we proceed ganito yung gagawin nyo and try to solve it on your own. Sige. Alright? Uh, if you didn't get the first example, it's okay, you know, I'll, I will still answer this one for you to uh, get it the second time around. Pero if you answered, no, if you tried to answer this one, it's okay if you get it wrong or you get it correct, no, that's better. Uh, let's check, no, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, what, what do we need to be able to write the chemical formula for this one? First, we have to identify calcium, no? And again, for the sake of relevance, no, calcium sulfite is a chemical compound used in water treatment. So, sa mga dams natin, no, sa uh, mga water pumping station, they use calcium sulfite to purify our water. Sa mga ano, stations ng water, di ba, yung mga refilling stations, they use calcium sulfite. And it's also used in preserve, preserve, preserving food. So therefore, uh, again, this chemical that seemingly... Uh, Sasabihin natin sometimes na saan naman to magagamit, di ba? We keep on complaining on calculus kasi hindi natin magagamit sa totoong buhay. Now, though these things are out of our reach as of now, these are actually no, operating around us, helping us survive every day, no? Consciously, subconsciously, and unconsciously. And now, I'm telling you this and it should be now uh, appreciated consciously. So, this is your calcium sulfite. And again, I have to locate my calcium. There you have it, your calcium. It's in group 2. So it should have a 2 positive charge. And then, I'll take a look at my table. By the way, this table is just uh, a simple no? or a table for the common polyatomic ions. Okay, let me just remove my face there. Meaning, there are a lot of polyatomic ions. And I'll give you a list that you'll be using in your summative and in your exam, probably. No, I call it a cheat sheet cheat sheet na kasi yun naman talaga yung purpose non during the actual exam uh, the list of polyatomic ions so that we don't memorize kasi bakit natin uh, i-memorize kung may table naman di ba if you study to remember you will forget but if you study to understand you will remember all right though, that's just an old uh, saying i've read in my elementary on the walls but nonetheless so much for the pep talk I'm looking at a sulfite. So, sulfite is here. So, that's SO3, 2 negative. SO3, 2 negative for my sulfite. Sulfite, SO. Sige, let me write it down. Negative. And my calcium is 2 positive because it's in group 2. No, It's the valence electron of calcium. Now, I have a problem. Unlike my first example, this the first one, no, balance yung charges nila. Dito, calcium has, has 2 plus, while sodium has a negative. Only one numerical value. So, they are not equal. So, what do you think are we going to do to solve this problem? <laughs> Very good. No, you got it right. I'm assuming you, re you replied in your mind. So, obviously, similar... Sa ordinary ionic compounds, we need to add another polyatomic ion. But we don't just write an oxygen with three atoms or S alone. We copy the entire polyatomic ion. So that, this will have an overall charge of two negative balancing to the charge of my calcium, which is two positive. No? Balance are, uh, the charges are already balanced. So I'm going to write now, Calcium and my sulfite, SO3, without the charges anymore. However, I have two SO3. So, I cannot write, now take note of this one, cannot write two here because it will become 32, nor if I'm going to make it small, it would appear that it should just be multiplied to oxygen. But since this is one entity, I have to enclose them in a parenthesis before writing the subscript to. No, does the chemical formula looks familiar? No, we often see this in many products. No, at home, on the market, in the school, in the laboratory, in particular. And now we are actually becoming a chemic, no, uh, a, a chemist, that we will know that this is the formula for my calcium sulfide. Hopefully, you get the same answer. 
No? Another example, let's have ammonium chloride. Now, uh, it's an IDE. Yay! No, it's not an IT. It's not an IT. However, I think there's a no metal. No? In group 1, 2, and 3, na ammonium yung pangalan. So, akala mo, nakaligtas ka. However, this becomes your polyatomic ion. So, take note, it's not always our an ion that is, the, that is the polyatomic ion. There are cases that our polyatomic ion is also positive. Now, the most common is your ammonium. So, say, uh, same thing, now, before we try to answer, uh, to write the chemical formula for this ionic compound, now, what is an ammonium chloride? So, if you've seen packets like this one, no, it's it's uh, uh, an ionic compound used as an electrolyte in dry cell batteries. No, sa mga battery natin, used in our clock, in our toys, no, we use ammonium chloride. It's also used as a fire extinguisher, uh, explosive, no, for mining, and then a curing I agent, no, for formaldehyde-based adhesives. So, madaming usage. No, this is very important. Now. Uh, what we need to do is to write the chemical formula. And as usual, we locate you know, what we know, chlorine. It's in group number 7. So, it will have a one negative charge or a simply negative charge. While my ammonium is here no, in the first part. Because in this table, it's the only cation, no? polyatomic cation. So, that's NH4 positive. Familiar ba si NH4, no? our ammonia? So let me write it here. N H four, and the charge is positive, while my chlorine or chloride Cl negative. So notice I still follow IDE because this is not a polyatomic ion. Now how do I write it? First check the label. No, my label bio <laughs> or the charges positive negative one one. So they are balanced. We simply write. NH4 and then CL question sir do i need to write parentheses here no 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 take uh, again i'll repeat that you don't have to write or to enclose a polyatomic ion in a parenthesis if there is no additional set of polyatomic ions so take note of that you just simply write it straight that is your NH4 CL for your ammonium chloride. Hopefully you get it. Uh, let's have another example. Now this time we'll have two uh, sets of polyatomic ions. Therefore, uh, again you can pause the video so that you can try it and open a tab because wala pala dito ang list of polyatomic ions so that you can try to answer it. Uh, ammonium phosphate. All right. Hopefully you pause the video. So now, I don't need a periodic table because this is a cation, which is a polyatomic one, and this is a polyatomic anion. So what I only need to answer this one is my table. But again, what is an ammonium phosphate? No, ginagamit siya for baking. It is used to feed plants as well, no? and it's an effective fertilizer. And it has, it is, it has good water solubility and dissolving abilities. So again, this... Uh, a lot of ionic compounds are very helpful and very useful to us no, in our industrial farm and farming purposes. So again, ammonium phosphate, let's take a look at the table. NH4 plus, that's my ammonium. Phosphate, where are you? Here, that's PO43 negative. So let me write it here. So medyo madali ito kasi kapag nakalimutan mo, pwede mong balikan. Diba? Sana all pwedeng balikan. <laughs> Char lang. NH4. I joke, carbonate na ba ito? <laughs> no, wala ako. Sige. NH4. My bad. NH4. And then, I have a positive sign. And my phosphate is PO4. Diba? Lumalakas siya. 3 negative. Check nga natin kung tama. PO43 negative. Alright, it's correct. Now, check the charges. Positive here. We have 3 negative here. Alright, so there's another problem. It's not balanced. No? Seemingly difficult, but you'll, if you've acquired the skill through several examples, you'll know 
that we can just add another NH4. That would make my NH4 2 against 3. And I'll add another one. And again, there's a shortcut here. You can simply cross multiply. Now, I use the crisscross method. Crisscross method. Decide ka dong. That would be NH4 3. And then NH4 going here would be uh, the PO4 would have a 1. No? So, balance na ang charges nila. We have 3 positive here. And then we have 3 negative here. Check the label, mommy. And there you have it. No? The rest is to write the chemical formula for our polyatomic ion, no? for our ionic compound. Since we have 3 ammonium or 3 NH4, I have to indicate it here by adding or enclosing my NH4 in a parenthesis and adding 3 as a subscript. Meaning, I have to multiply 3 to my N and 3 to my H. No? Take note of this because it's important when we go to uh, the after midterms no? balancing equation. And I know you're excited for that. But for the meantime, ito na, PO4. So it's getting long. No, our formula is getting long, but this is your ammonium phosphate. Alright, get it? Diba ang dali lang naman ng chemistry, no? Do not be afraid because I am with you. <laughs> Jesus ka, Lord. Jesus ka, girl. Sige, uh, last example, no? Nasulatan ko kanina, so let me erase. Our calcium carbonate. So I think this would be uh, a bit easy. So nasulatan instead na mawala. Sige. You may pause the video while I'm erasing it and try to solve it on your own. Alright. So, calcium carbonate. What is a calcium carbonate? Or how do we solve it? Uh, first, we need a periodic table and our chart. no? But before that, uh, I want uh, I particularly place it in the last because calcium carbonate is one of the most important um, compound. No, with uh, with polyatomic ions because it is used in healthcare, oil, plastic rubber, cement glass production, steel paper, and construction. And one of the most famous and relevant, I think, uh, example of the usage of calcium carbonate is our dolomite sand. No, uh, our dolomite sand is actually uh, producers and composed of magnesium carbonate and calcium carbonate. It's used there to protect supposedly the sea. No, but there's a lot of issues. Because of, of the engineering, of the planning, no, they, if only they learned chemistry properly, no, and if they studied it well, no, the calcium carbonate and the magnesium carbonate in those dolomite sand should have not gone to waste, no, wasting millions and billions. So, sana panoorin nyo to kung sino man yung mga project proponents, no, no, I don't want to drop name kasi baka aatakihin ako dito. Anyways, no, this is your calcium carbonate. So, how do we do it? We do it best. <laughs> Char lang. Hi, Sir Ron. So, calcium, calcium carbonate. Let me write it. So, again, kahit hindi na natin puntahan yung periodic table, we know that my calcium is Ca2. Wala na, wala. Magic. Ca2 positive. But of course, I have to check the table for my carbonate. So that's CO3 to negative. CO3 to negative. CO3 to negative. And the charge is already balanced. So what I need to do is to simply copy it down and form a compound. So may isang CaCO3. No, kako. <laughs> Kako Martin. Char. Yan. Pag nag-cross multiply ka, again, our crisscross method, it will give you, ano ba? Ano ba? Nag-crisscross ka. It will give you C8 2 and then CO3 with a parenthesis 2 positive. And that's a molecular formula. You have to reduce it to become an empirical formula which will lead you to here. So again, whatever method you use, no, or you want to use, it's fine as long as you get the empirical formula for every chemical formula that we are trying to write. Alright. Uh, is it clear or did you get, did you get it right? Uh, of course, yes. No? Because you're a chimic. Now, for more practice purposes, 
try to answer this one and uh, send it no and turn it in no, within the day thank you so much and uh, uh, next meeting we are going to talk about writing chemical formulas which involves covalent compounds hopefully uh, yeah and we're done with all the ionic compounds and it's more excuse me it's easier no, to name chemical compounds involving covalent compounds so consider it as a rest no or it depends no basta para sa akin mas madali yun so ayan uh, hindi ko na papatagalin pa maraming maraming salamat mga kachimek this has been Sir Jello now signing off